everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the game Ready, Set, Bet. Now this is a live action horse racing game and the object of this game is you're going to try to make the most amount of money by the end of four rounds. So let's check it out. So we got two different boards here on the game. Right over here you've got the horse race track and you've got horses that are going to be numbered two through twelve. Now some of these are going to have two numbers on them like this has two and three and this also has eleven and twelve. What these numbers are going to represent are rolls on the dice. And in the game, one person is going to be assigned to be what is called the house. Now, the house essentially is going to be rolling the dice. And uh, whatever number he rolls, that horse is going to be moving up one. So in this case, we rolled an eight. So the eight horse is going to go ahead and move up. Now, if I were to roll another eight, um, th that horse and all the other horses, with the exception of the seven, are going to get an extra movement. So if I rolled an eight again... He would move one, but then he would also move up a bonus one. With the numbers that are harder to roll, like twos and threes, that number is going to increase. So if I ended up rolling a three, for example, this horse is going to go ahead and move up one as normal. But if I roll the three again, this horse is going to end up moving up one, two, and three. Like so. Now, seven is the most common number that you're going to roll, so that doesn't have any bonus moves. But anyway, on the board, it's going to be listed what their bonus moves are going to be if you end up rolling the same number twice in a row. Uh, now, this isn't going to carry over to the third roll, but what's going to happen is, is that rule is going to reset. So they'll have to roll the same number again twice in order to go ahead and make the horses move in that way. Now, right over here, this is the betting line. Once three horses have crossed this line, then no betting is going to be allowed from that point on. So in the beginning, everybody is going to be receiving five of these chips with different amounts on them, two, three, four, three, and five. And what you're going to be doing with these chips is you're going to be betting on this board um, with the different horses. Now, there are several different types of bets you can do in this game. Right here is win. This basically means that you believe that a certain horse is going to win the race. Um, these numbers here are multipliers. So if you were to place a chip here, like so, um, you would end up uh, being able to score nine times the number that you put if this horse were to end up winning, for example. So in this case, that would be $18. Um, now, there are also other lower amounts on here, and the reason why these are here is like um, if you bet early, you are going to have a better opportunity of uh, filling in these greater multipliers. But you don't have to bet immediately. As the race is going on and you're seeing what the horses are doing, which ones are ahead, you can start to bet that way as well. Uh, the thing with that is you might not be able to get as high a multiplier, but you do have several different options here that can be pretty good for you. Um, so with win, it's going to be which horse you think is going to win first. The place means a horse that you think is going to be either first or second, and then show is a horse that you believe is either going to be first, second, or third. It's going to be going on in real time, so you're going to be uh, just trying to place these five chips into these different areas. Now, on top of that, there's called what is called prop bets, and these are up here. Uh, in the very beginning, you're going to deal out five of the cards, and what this means essentially is that you believe uh, this horse is going to beat this horse. This horse will beat this horse, etc. Most of the cards going to be like that. Um, and if you believe that, uh, say in this case, 11 and 12 is going to be eight, you can put a chip on there. And if you win, you're going to get four times the amount that you bet. Now, if you lose, this says negative three. What you're going to do is you're going to lose $3 in this case. It's not going to be multiplied. So this would be you'd lose $4 if you lost, $3 if you lost, etc. On top of this, you're also going to have exotic finishes. And this is another bet. Uh, you've got four rounds in the game you're going to be doing. And so in the first round, here's what we got. It says blowout. The second place horse loses by more than five spaces. So if you believe that that is what is going to happen, you can place a betting chip on here uh, like so. And then if you end up being right, you're going to go ahead and win that multiplier with the amount that you had, uh, just like with the other bets. Um, now, three chips can be placed on here. Now, as each new race progresses, you're going to go ahead and add another card. This one is a late start. This one says at least two, three, two horses move three or fewer spaces. And then you're basically going to be doing this uh, throughout um, the race until you get to the fourth race. And there's different cards, as you can see. This is a tight race. This means all horses must move six or more spaces. Photo finishes the third place horse loses by three or fewer spaces. Also, you're going to have what are called VIP cards over here. Now, after one of the, the races is over, you're going to go ahead and draw out two of these VIP cards. And these are going to be cards that you're going to be able to use in the race, and they're going to stay with you uh, throughout the race as bonuses. So here's an example. This one says side bet. 
This one says if the five or six horses finish in the top three, you'll earn extra money. This one will give you a bonus bet token over here. And we've got bet tokens here that are bonus tokens. So if you end up having this one, this is going to give you an extra bonus token that you're going to be able to use. Here's one that says last second better. It says the red line does not apply to you. You may place bets until the race is over. So there's several different types of cards like this. And uh, whenever you draw the two, you're going to go ahead and pick one of them and then discard the other. Uh, just a few other bets here. You've got a uh, blue horse wins. That's 5x. Orange horse wins. That's 3x. Red wins. That's 2x. Seventh horse finishes fifth or worse. That's 4x. If you are playing as the house, meaning you're the person that is rolling, you'll also be able to do bets if you would like to with uh, these house tokens. And the way this works is you're going to go ahead and before the race, you're going to go ahead and just place these somewhere uh, where you think that a horse is actually going to have a good chance to win. So here we go. And now the person who is uh, running the race is being encouraged to make it exciting by making a lot of calls and stuff. So here's an example. Number seven. Number seven has got there first. He's gone ahead and taken the lead. Oh, we've got Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes goes ahead and moves up one. And now we got seven again. Seven is in the lead. He's doing well. And we've got six. Six is now on the board, etc. Now, while all this is going on, people are going to be looking at the board and watching the horses and then placing their bets. So let me go ahead and do one more roll. Here we've got four. We've got four. We've got four. We'll do one more roll here. We've got another three. Okay, here we go. Three. Now, three is doing pretty good now this is not this might actually be a bet that someone might want to take so let's just say gold decides okay i'm going to go ahead and place uh this two over here on the nine in hopes that the horse is going to win but let's just say he also decides he's going to place one over here in the show so anyway we continue to roll oh we got three again and this since he rolled that the second time in a row that's going to move him up three so we continue to roll nines on the board nines on the board nines on the board here we go we're going to continue going oh we got a six six is on the board Six is on the board now. Who's going to win the race? We got another six. Six is going to move up an extra space. And so at this point, let's just say uh, the yellow player is saying, okay, six seems to be doing pretty good. Let me go ahead and put uh, a three over here. And perhaps uh, the extra pl another player is saying, I'm going to put a four over here for the six. Here goes this bet. We'll just put a bet there. And... Uh, Here's one that says the second place horse loses by more than five spaces. Let's say one of the players decides he's going to go ahead and take that bet. And we'll continue to roll here. We have an eight, an eight, an eight, an eight. We'll roll again. We got a four. Four has crossed the red line. So he's the first horse to cross the red line. So let's just say um, this is the last bet that I have. We have a nine, a nine, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, boom, boom. We got an eight. Eight's coming up in the lead. And four has finished the race. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so at this point, the race is going to go ahead and end. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and place these markers on the horses. So number four has won the race. So we're going to put a marker here on four. And number second place horse was this one, which is number two and three. So we're going to put that for that. And then the third place horse was number eight. So we will put a marker over here for that. And then everybody's going to go ahead and collect their bets. So you've got all these different uh, denominations of money chips over here, and this is what you're going to be distributing is money to the different players. So right now uh, we have this token here, which said that uh, the second, that number two or three was going to either place or show, and he guessed correctly with that. So now he's going to go ahead and collect $12 and take this off. Number six did not win anything. So in this case, uh, both of the players would be paying a penalty. Well, this one would. So these two markers are going to be taken off. We go over here. This one says win. This token here, it will win $28. This token here will win $30. This one will lose because it did not win. So you'll be paying two bucks for that. And then we'll go over here. This one says the second place horse loses by more than five spaces. So we go one, two, three, four, five. Well, he did not lose by more than five. He almost did. So this one's going to be a negative and he'll have to pay $2 for that. And then we finally have this one that says blue wins, which is correct. So this is going to be worth $15. And then we have this bet that says 11 or 12 is going to beat number eight. And when you look at the chart here, that is definitely not true. So uh, they are going to go ahead and end up paying uh, $3 for that. So anyway, that's the way the game is going to work for the next round. And what you'll do is you're going to go ahead and clear these cards out and then deal five more into uh, the top lot over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to reset the horses and you're going to do four races total. And at the end of four races, whoever has the most amount of money is going to win the game. You know, I remember having a computer game, I believe it was called Real Deal Casino, that had horse racing on it. 
And it was pretty cool to play. But the thing with that game was you had to place your bets first and then watch the horses. With this game, you can place your bets as the race is going on, which I think is very cool. Uh, the races can change at a moment's notice. I've had races where like the seven horse would be way ahead. And then all of a sudden the two horse would uh, end up moving five spaces within two turns because it ended up getting that bonus. Um, so things change all the time in this game. Sometimes the races are short. Sometimes they just change so much. And so you're getting the opportunity to bet while the race is going on. Uh, now, the interesting thing is, is that you can either bet early and get a higher payout if you are correct, uh, but or you can wait, but you might get a lower payout. You may be right. You may be wrong. Um, you just really don't know. I mean, it gets a little bit obvious at some point sometimes, like when the horse is really close to the end and ple- people start placing their bets there, there's a greater chance that that horse is going to win. But again, you just never know. Um, so another thing I like, too, is that they have a lot of different ways you can bet. Um, you have those cards on the top uh, that you can bet on, which basically say, you know, this horse is going to beat this horse, and then it changes after each round. And then you also have the exotic bets, which are pretty cool as well, um, that you can place bets on. And then you also have the VIP cards, which are also going to change the game up because you're going to be able to get bonuses with them. So it's a very fun game. Now, this game does have a companion app that you can use that basically runs the race for you. It does the dice rolls, and then it has somebody who calls the race while the horses are going and stuff so everybody can play without having to have someone roll the dice, which I really like that a lot. So, yeah, this is a fun game. If you are into horse racing, I would definitely recommend getting this game. All right, guys, that's my review of Ready, Set, Bet. We'll catch you later. Keep on gaming.